Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel today. It is time to begin uh, FIFA the FIFA 23 Aberdeen career mode. I am so, so excited for it to begin this. And I really hope you guys are too. So please drop a like, subscribe, comment down below, and let's get straight into the beginning of this new series. So, as you can see, obviously, there's the new feature for FIFA 23. Pardon me, is for FIFA, I don't, one of the new features for FIFA 23 career mode is you can play as a real manager. I could obviously create a new manager, but I feel, pardon me, I feel like on, not just because it's a new feature, but because Jim Goodwin, there's no need for me to come in and take over for Jim Goodwin. We're just going to play as Jim Goodwin. So as you can see here, he's already selected. And if you look at him, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it could look could look worse, but it doesn't look too bad. We're going to change his outfit um, because he does wear a tracksuit. So we'll chuck on a club tracksuit for him. I uh, will find the club tracksuit. Oh, make sure he's wearing that. Um, we'll make sure he's got some socks on because you don't want to get blisters. Um, we'll also we'll just give him some, I guess, let's just say black trainers. So that will be Jim Goodwin um, looking all good in his outfit. And as you can see, here is. So we've got three, well this is dollars, but <clears throat> you can see the kits all looking great. Um, we're not going to create a club, we're not going to change the team, we're going to advance as Aberdeen. Um, home stadium, now I believe that there's, I've seen like a stadium looks a lot um, more realistic to Pataudry because obviously Pataudry looks nothing like Ivy Lane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if there's any other stadium which looks, I don't, Court Lane looks nothing like Pataudry. Um, and Moulton, I mean, see this... Like our, our arena Dodo has got like this the right like capacity, but it's just not the right um like, look of the same. So we're gonna go with the Forest Park Stadium. I think that looks the most like Petardry. So we'll just name it Petardry. So obviously that is the name of the stadium that Aberdeen play in. So we'll go like that. We'll make we'll just uh, give it some. We'll give some uh, red. Might go with red and white for the... Oh, that's red and purple. Go red and white. <coughs> Sorry. Um, now, one thing I want, hopefully next year, or they could, I don't know if they could maybe even update this, to get more than one seat colour. Because if you look at McDermott, there's blue, yellow and red. Some stadiums is more than just one colour. I don't want, because Aberdeen have got some yellow seats in there. It would be a bit too long to like, go through each seat and what colour you want it to be. That would be way too long. But just get a bit of realism in there. Because obviously, um, we'll just change the net to the net that Aberdeen have got in real life. Which is this. This is the net we've got in real life. And it is um, a square meshing. So that's the pitch done, which is all good. Um, we can now get into editing all the local oh, sterling, disable international job offers, disable the first, for, disable the summer transfer window, because you're not going to be making any signings in the summer. I'll just quickly check that, um, like, we're not in any European competition. I'll make, I'll get, um, we'll just swap, um, we'll just chuck, um, I'll just chuck, um, any team I could just pull, just any team I can. Jeez, oh, man, I can't get any team into for some. All right, which we'll no? Oh, why is it? I'm just okay. I'll do. Um, anyone else who's not meant to be in there? Yeah, that's all good. So let's just quickly double check world class. Now, obviously, I do play world class. I might bump up to legendary, but um. Uh, we'll go world class just for now. We'll probably bump it up to legendary once I get used to the game because the game just come out today. I'm, now I did say that um, I'd, I'd be getting it, beginning the career mode on the first of October. I'm filming this on Saturday, the thir on Friday the thirtieth at night, so it might be uploaded by like one o'clock in the morning. But that's because it takes so long to upload. Um, just what's that? I'm not. Um, so I guess yeah, everything's done. And let's begin. 
Football, why do we love it? It's got the new SPL4 match ball, which is really good. Um, I just can't wait. I just actually can't wait to get straight into it. If, and if you guys are, drop a like, subscribe, and it's it will be... And I'm going to put it, like, about maybe um, around... The sort of like I might do like a three se I don't well, I want um in the comments can you guys please let me know how many seasons I want to do I don't I don't want to do too many I don't want to do I don't want to do um no uh, I don't want to do like a short uh, career mode. obviously it'll be more than one season I'm saying the Chelsea career mode has to stop because well FIFA 23 is out so let's see which pardon me which team which um international sorry which pre season tournament do I want to choose. And um, we'll go for the European Shield. And I guess that's it. Here we are. Right into the career mode. And we're going to quickly have a look at our messages. So we're going to have a look at the Youth Academy. Oh my gosh. Jon Avila. 65 rated. What a player. In the Youth Academy. Okay, this is a problem which... Um, we're going to... Oh, my cat's annoying my mum. Uh... So we'll just remove all these players. But look at this. Jon Avila. See, now the problem is here. I don't... Uh, I don't really want to use him. And that's only because he get into the squad over some players. And I don't really want him to get over certain players. So maybe just... He would be really good for squad day. But I'm going to have to just release him. Because I will do a bit of Youth Academy, but not as much. So let's have a look at our objectives. So before we do the team, we'll just have a look at the objectives. So, uh, sign one player in Youth Academy assigned to the defender position for youth. Uh, a brand exposure, get 10, game, get 10 games with at least one goal scored in away matches this season. That shouldn't be too hard. Obviously, no European competition. And it says here, finish mid-table... You can do more than mid-table and reach the quarter-final of the Scottish Cup. And it says, within three seasons in the in Cinch Premiership, qualify for a European competition. We could do that this season. Honestly, I don't know why. It's because, obviously, how bad we were last season. And for financial, it's sell two players and sign one important player. Well, it should be one important player to replace and finish the season without any, any unspent transfer budget. Now... I'm selling two players that we I don't really know um what two players they'd be sell to I'd sell. But I guess um we'll think figure that out. And this is the squad that we've got. Um Miofsky is in the team. Uh, he's sixty five rated, which I think is really fair. Miofsky's definitely sixty three rated. Of uh, sixty five, not sixty three. Uh, we've got Hayton Coulson, seventy five pace, so I was expecting a bit more there. Um 77 pace? What? How has Duke got 77 pace? How is he slower than Johnny Hates? Johnny Hates got 79. Duke should have at least 82. That's mental. That's actually mental. I don't know how Duke's got that amount of pace, but that's just bad. Now, as you can see here, Ramirez is actually the highest rated player on the team. Which means... He's got a crucial squad rule. And I'm not playing him over Miofsky. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm actually going to have to sell him. Obviously, he won't be sold. Obviously, because obviously the, I'm disabled the summer transfer. Deal. He'll go in January. But I just can't have him in the squad. He probably won't leave in real life. He, he probably will leave in real life. And I'm not using him in this career mode because he's just not good enough. And another issue here, the formation. Uh, wait, I, don't, I still don't understand how Bissau in 65 rate, he should be at least 66, 67. Um, formation, I do not want to use this formation because Aberdeen play this and we keep we have the lone striker. So what I want to do is I want a 4-3-3 holding or maybe I want to play this. So we've got Clarkson playing there, Bissau on the right, Miofsky up front and Hayes on the left. That is the team I want, but I do want to play Kennedy over Hayes, and that's only because Hayes is just gonna his rating's gonna come down and down and down. But we're also gonna have to do a bit of converting because Kennedy's a right mid and Basound's a cam, so Basound's gonna have to get converted to a right wing. Richardson, uh, no, Richardson's fine. Um, I've just got Anthony Stewart, fifty-three pace. If I can work on it, I'll work on it. Um, cool. Sitting out another problem here. Clarkson's on loan. 
and cruel sentence scales on them. But I will be signing scales permanent because there's been a lot of talk about it happening in real life. So I'm gonna make rumor I'm gonna make these rumors a reality and I'm gonna sign scales on a permanent. I do want to sign Coolson and Clarkson permanently, but I really don't know if it's realistic or not, but I really want to do it because they're just two fantastic players. Looking at reserves we've got Dante Polvaro who's been downgraded by two I think from FIFA twenty two. Watkins he's really Watkins and uh, Morris a uh, new sign in He's 60 rated. Jack Milne, 54. Uh, is that Dylan Lobin? I think it is. Liam Harvey and Ryan Duncan. And obviously here we've got Connor Barron on the bench. Obviously he's um, injured in real life. So we're still going to use him for his backup. We've got Callum Roberts. Um, I'm probably going to convert him to Cam. Because obviously I've got Morris. So I don't really need to have another right mid in Roberts. Um, so honestly we've got a really good squad. Um, Duke, um, once I know I'm still, I'm still really annoyed that he's 77 pace, but he will be really fun to use. Now let's have a look at the squad hub and see what we're looking at. That's actually pretty realistic on Roos. He look, looks quite good on him. Um, that's actually a really realistic player photo for Coulson. Um, so Johnny Hayes, obviously his contract expiring, so I might just let that run out and let him go. Even though I don't want to, but I think I might just have to. So we've got Anthony Stewart, the big man, the captain. Uh, Liam Scales, oh no, that's... That is... Is that a player face? That could even be a player face, because that is very, very good, if that's not a player face. Got McCrory, okay, right. That looks nothing like McCrory. Richardson, that's actually decent. Ramadani, that's decent. I'm just looking through the player photos. Um, look, player faces. Lane Clarkson has got one. Um, Baron looks not like him. Obviously got Dean Campbell, Elm Lone, Stevenage. So when he comes back, I don't really know what to do him. It is the Elm Um So we're going to convert, uh, let's get Basarin to right wing. Because that's the position I'm going to be playing him in for the entirety of this career mode. Because he'll be one of the biggest parts of this career mode, definitely. We're going to convert Kennedy to a left winger. Because that's, okay, it'll take 11 weeks, but that'll do. Um, Callum Roberts, we're going to convert to it. That looks nothing like him. It makes him look like 40. Um, we'll convert him to a cam. Um, Morris, we'll convert to a right wing. We've got Connor McLennan out on loan at St Johnston, so we really don't know what to do with him by the time he comes back. Um, we've got Miofsky, obviously. Uh, that's actually decent. He's a, his face is a bit... Um, not 100%, but it's decent. And we've got Duke, who looks quite a bit like him. So we're gonna actually what I'm gonna do is um we're gonna um delegate his renewal and we're gonna give um me a Mielski a crucial squad role just to make sure that he will get played every game. Um we're gonna have to negotiate actually, I've really got to negotiate to be able to give him that crucial squad role because I want I'm literally gonna be playing every single game. Uh, we're gonna can I get a one year extension maybe just make sure he's on a five year deal that's perfect disregard of all these clause and we'll just offer him as you can see in the top right a new feature tension which is quite good because if the tension bar gets really high the player will just walk out and there we go just made Miofsky a crucial squad role player um, so he's getting a game every single week and Ramirez will be transfer listed and um, get some money for him so I'm also gonna gonna probably just uh, go through contracts just delegating the ones that I need to delegate. Um, let's see what we need to do here. Um, any contracts that I'll need to sort out. Matty Kendi, so we'll need to sort out his. Give him 2.3k a week. Um, anyone else's? No, that's us. That's all good. Um, done Marley Watkins, done pretty much everyone's I need to. So let's, I guess, um, don't know what to do. Could maybe look at players. Who I said I don't really need to sign anyone though. Honestly, signing players will probably be next season. Um, actually, one thing I want to do. Um, actually, I'll just leave McCro. Should I? Maybe I'm thinking actually. Aberdeen don't have a backup centre back in the squad. We've got three. Well, I mean we've got McCrory who I'm going to convert to. No, I don't want to delegate you know. Um, we'll convert him to a CDM because that's where I want him to play. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably sign maybe a free agent centre-back. 
because we do need a backup and I might as well actually just permanently sign scale so that's what we'll do because he's been he's, Goodwin has expressed his um he respects ex, uh, expressed the fact that he wants to permanently sign so we're gonna offer him nine hundred thousand and and Japostokoglu will accept it so we'll view the negotiations. Okay, we're off. Gonna have to go through all the tutorial, which is gonna be a bit annoying. So we're gonna negotiate with Liam Scales, make sure that he is on a permanent and that he will stay at the club and we can use him throughout this whole career mode. And we'll accept that. No release clause. Uh, salary, I'll offer him three and a half thousand and then twenty thousand on the signing bonus. Okay, he wants 4.7. Okay, we'll just stick. Oh, we'll just submit the offer and we'll accept it. So there we go. That is scales on a permanent. And this news feature as well about rating transfers. Let's see what. Oh, my cast on it. Let's see what they're going to give us. I, I see. I got him for 25,000. I got him for 25,000 pounds under his rating. So wait, how has Baron been put his. Compare. Oh, Alright, that's a bit. I don't know why they're comparing. When Scales isn't a CDM and they're comparing him to McCrory, uh, uh, to Baron. So now I guess I might just search for free agents. Because there is Michael Hector who Aberdeen have actually been linked with. So I might just, I mean, I need a backup centre back and free agents you can sign transfer, in transfers or not. So I mean, look at Jason Denier. He's in Philip Rolander. Some of these players, like I know, um, looks like none of them are really going to be players that I'd want to sign. If I'm being honest, I just need a backup centre back. It doesn't particularly matter who it is. I just need a backup centre back. But I think probably just going to have to be a player from the Scottish Premiership because the free agents look really poor. Um, why am I going to the transfer hub? I need to go into the. Um, Need to go. We'll just search in the Scottish Premiership and we'll see what the best option is for me to sign. Who the best option is for me to sign for backup centre back? Um, there's Andrew Considine. Could bring him back to where he belongs. He belongs at Aberdeen, not at St Johnston. Um, any real decent options I could sign? Um, Charlie Mulgrew, definitely not. Um, I don't think there's really anyone who would be a, uh, oppor a good, um, backup. Obviously, I won't get them until January. Maybe, just looking through the options I've got. Not really, not, no one's here screaming to mind of making a sign in. None of these are the ones I really want to sign. Uh, Ross Graham. That could be a good shout for backup. Definitely. It's a bit unrealistic somebody's played on United, but for a backup centre back, I'm not particularly bothered if it's realistic or not. Um, I could just put Considine. I just could, and maybe just bring him back. But one player that I am going to bring back, because he has, like, people are been. He did say that he'd return to Aberdeen. And that's Graham Shinney. I will bring him back. Like, I have to. I have to bring him back. Because there's... Like, he, he's, he's probably going to get bring him back, brung back in, in the future. Um, the one thing... Uh, people say that I have to do training. I'm actually going to do all the training off camera. Because I'm... Oh, Liam Scales got a cutscene for him. That's actually quite good. Here's a cutscene for oh, these cutscenes are really good, and um, it's actually quite good, obviously, because he's alone. Um, I can sign him permanently, so let's just watch this cutscene, see what it's like. Doing his medical, don't think that looks like Lee Sharp. That's definitely not Aberdeen's assistant manager. That's not Lee Sharp. There he is, wearing the kit, which which he was already wearing. But there, he is. Liam Scales has been announced. As a permanent player, um, hey Gaff, I was just, uh, so uh, Ramirez is surprised. It's good business. 
I mean, I just want to get rid of him because he's rubbish. He's not. He used. He was he used to be this sort of good player. Um, he's obviously not anymore. And I'm just gonna bypass the training days just now. But I, I might do them, um, in the of off camera and all that, which I probably will. And we've got a transfer offer for Ramirez, and it's actually from a team in America, which is absolutely perfect. So we'll definitely accept it. So if he goes there, it's. It's just ideal because obviously he is American and he's been talking about him going back to America. And oh my gosh, that's Andrew Constant, 67 rated. So it wouldn't, wouldn't be too bad to bring him back to Patoji where he does belong. And I'm being this here, he belongs at Patoji. And there we go, Ramirez walking out. Um, and now I don't, wait, if I, I swear I've, dis, I've disabled the chance window. If I haven't. And he's still on the squad. Okay, he's still on the squad. Yeah, he is still on the squad. So I've just because I was I was quickly checking if I'd, I'd actually um, disable the transfer window. But I guess now we can. We're gonna set up a second team. So we'll add a second team of players that are, you know, just not not as good as the t players in the first team. I've got plenty of players I can chuck in that second team. So let's do that. So I want, let's go. So we'll go, uh, do we go Duke or Watkins? Let's go Duke. Um, Morris, uh, I guess we'll just put Johnny Hayes, uh, Mackenzie. Okay, right, that's a problem. Um, yep, no centre backs, so they're going to have to play. Milne, uh, Paul Vara. Uh, Baron at right back. I'm oh yeah, I'm the centre back at right back as well. Um, and I guess keep Bruce in goal just because that's what Aberdeen do in real life. And try to replicate that. We might as well just put Cam Roberts in at mid in at Cam because obviously that's where he'll be playing for me. So that's actually a pretty good second team apart from I have the fact that I have to keep skills and uh sure in the team only because i've got no backup uh center backs so we'll just chuck um polvara on the bench uh, we'll put uh chuck uh beside on the bench and also mccrory so that's the second team made um so we can use that team whenever we need to so for example a game coming up like this in the um preseason so we've got a Roberts position change, which means he will be changing to a cam and we'll put him on a shadow striker development plan. Um, let's see now what we can do now. So obviously there is the brand new playable highlights feature, but I feel like I'm just going to... Okay, why is, why have they not selected the away kit for Barnsley? Because that's a definite kit clash. So we'll just quick him. Because pre-season is something I'm not 100%ly interested in. And we do win 1-0, Duke getting the goal. Um, let's advance to our next game against Wickham Wanderers. Who obviously, um, what's his name? Uh, Anthony Shirt, I couldn't think of his name for a second. Anthony Shirt used to play for. And this is when I'm actually going to... Oh, they got uh, Shriek, the... Was it the... Yeah, the Lovington keeper. Is in the goal for them. This is where I'm actually going to use the playable highlights feature. So we're obviously going to use the second team and we're going to use the playable highlights feature and let's test how I've seen MGH use it. It's been really poor for him. I wonder if it'll be as poor as it is for him, what as it is for me. So let's see. Crossing opportunity for Aberdeen in the fourth minute. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's a crossing opportunity because, well, is on that wing and we've lost it. Okay, I've lost the ball. That's not. Oh, I've actually got a free kick out of that, so we'll chuck that into the box. It's a decent ball. Header, and it is going to go out for the corner. Uh, okay, what? Why aren't you giving me the corner? Why aren't you giving me the corner? Give me the corner. I've got, I'm going to attack an opportunity for a corner, and they're not giving me the corner. Got Connor Barron. Roberts. Into two. Oh. Jacobson does win it. Wickham attack. Um, that's actually really good. There's a few like missing seats because it's a friendly. That's a lot better than like, let's see, because there's like so many seats that are empty. 
That's quite good. And the four oh, oh. That's not good. And we've got a penalty. We have got a penalty. So Duke is the one to take it. Why, why are we using the World Cup ball? I'm going to have to change that. And Duke scores. 1-1. One, one. Brilliant finish from Duke. And a crossing opportunity for Wickham in the second half now. Definitely going to have to change it from the World Cup ball. I did play a kickoff game where the World Cup was used and I've not changed it to the obviously settings and just quickly change that. And Anthony Shears put it out for the corner. And then the corner. I've struck there. They've obviously not been given the corner so they've played on. Wickham have got an attack, and Barron does well. Why don't I give the attack an opportunity? Why not? I, I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it. Okay, so I guess that's it. 1-1 uh, draw. Rather uh, boring. I could have scored 2 or 3 if I actually got given the opportunities I could have got. But I've not been given the opportunities. So what we're going to do is... Okay, we're away to Ross County in the first game of the season, so they've, they've not got... The um, exact, um, they've not got the exact um, fixtures. We're going to quick sim against FC Voldemann. And it's a 1 0 win. Callum Roberts getting the goal. And I don't know if I guess that's us top the group. Um, don't know, I can't, I didn't read it, was, I just skipped it. Okay, so we've only got some skirt reports back. So we've got Ross Graham is a 60 rated. Player and Nazi Graham Shinny 69, so we shall definitely um, just wait. Oh, we've got Rangers away next, that's a big game. So we've got two away games in a row, and one of them is against Rangers. So Duke wants to start. Do you know what? I might give him a start, you know. I might actually go for the 4 4 2 that Aberdeen have been playing recently. So let's um, go into our pre match conference. Thank you for your uh, patience. Against, we'll start taking the game against Ross County. Maybe, it was a, maybe it was a friendly, it must have been. I don't know. Can you finish in the top half of the season? The players are good enough. We're definitely going to finish top six. There's no doubt about it, and I, I may just accept it. Hopefully not. Um, He's got a real desire. I'm not going to uh, disappoint him. I'm going to be on. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being 100% honest with it. Um, I want a good performance. That's all you got to say. All you got to say. Um, I don't know if the World Cup was actually selected or it's just using it for friendlies, but I'll just uh, quickly check that it is. Um, okay, yeah, it's, it's selected, so we'll just go with the default ball and obviously we'll get the um, match ball. So let's get into the first game of the season. Where are they awake at? And let's go with the squad, which I uh, said I was going to go for. But we're not going to go for 4 4 2. We're going to go for 4 2 4, a bit more attacking. So we've got Miowski and uh, probably. Okay, right, here's a problem. Here is a big problem. I'm going to have to probably bench Clarkson. Actually, so actually what I'm going to have to do is we're going to have to go for a 4 4 2, but holding. Uh, but a 4 4 2 holding and just do it like that. So we're going to have to um, chuck Duke in the squad, play Ramadani and McCrory, and that, I guess that'll be the team that we're going to go with. That's a very good squad. Uh, actually, hold on, I'll just switch those two around like that. And let's have a look at the um, Oscar Engines. We've got Eastwood, Randall, Baldwin, Iacoviti, Pennington, Sims, Calican, Tilt, Cal Calicon, Tilson, Edwards, Danda and Samuel. So a decent team from Ross County, but I think I've got the better squad. So let's get into the first game of the season and the cutscenes are just fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. No fault with them at all. Um, just, just honestly, just fantastic. Just definitely fantastic. The way they've updated the game, the way they've made it better. And it's the first game of the season, so they're making it look all good. And let's get into it. The players walking out for the first time of the Premiership season. And it's away we go for the first game of FIFA 23 of the Aberdeen... The first game of the FIFA 23 Aberdeen career mode. Hopefully we can start off this season with a win. But Ross, we're going to... We're playing against Ross County at Ross County Stadium. Obviously it's not Ross County Stadium in the game. But it's always tough coming to Dingwall. 
and Richardson has done well to intercept. So let's see what Viserion can do. Using that pace that he's got, he's going to get past Purrington. Viserion into Duke. Bielski hit one already. What a save from Eastwood. Aberdeen already in for it. And we've got a corner, so we're going to see what we can do. Just going to chip this one in to the danger area. It's a decent ball. McCrony's there and he's forced Eastwood into a save. That's two very good opportunities. We'll just try to do the exact same thing again. Chip it in. This time it's Duke for the header, but unfortunately Duke can't win it. Baserin knocks it back to Kennedy. He heads it back. That's a really poor cross into the box. So let's see what we can do from here. Ramadani into Baserin. A left foot finesse shot. That was really, really, really poor. McCrory plays that out to Baserin. Duke chips it into Miofsky. Oh, Jamiofsky, that's brilliant defending from Ross County. That probably should have been 1-0, but it is remaining at 0-0, but there's Hayden Coulson. Kennedy into Ramadani. We go for the finesse shot. Straight at Eastwood. Not really, Eastwood's not really been troubled. Oh, yeah, she has. There's a decent header from McCrory, which made him work, and now efforts here. Duke, see, in real life, Duke can win the headers, but in FIFA, maybe because his height is if I haven't done justice because he's very good at heading the ball in real life and now Ross County have an opportunity to attack but Miofsky tracks back and wins the ball now we've got Baserin into Richardson Richardson overlapped plays it in for Duke with a header it's come off the bar McCrory on the rebound but it's defended away brilliant start all oh, on the pressure on pressuring Ross County and that's unfortunately going to go out from the pass from, I think it was um, Stewart might have been, but very strong start, Isla could be 1 or 2 nil up here, but unfortunately the score line remains 0-0 and now Ross County are attacking down the left hand side, and Samuel, see what Ross County can do here, hopefully not putting the ball in the back of the net, and Anthony Stewart can't, okay it's, some, it's come off his hand there, oh I don't know how it's come off his hand, but it's come off his hand. That's a ball into the box, Liam Scales gets it away and now Brasserin has room, room to drive but Baldwin does win it off him. Edwards, Pilsen's going to chase him in, Samuel, going to get, Bruce makes a save and oh how, no way, oh, oh it's a, I was going to say I thought it was a penalty, I genuinely thought it was a penalty but it's not thankfully, it was a foul on Ruse or maybe offside, either one or handball. And now Miofsky, he's still got it here, but Randall puts it away, so yeah, really good start. Oh, Coulson has won it, into Duke, Duke cuts it, oh no, cut in a bit too far to the to the right and it was easy enough for the player to win it and now Bissarin can win the header, into Miofsky, hits it on the volley, but it goes straight to Eastwood, that easily, maybe probably should have took a touch and then could have put the ball into the back of the net. But here's Kennedy, lovely bit of skill, Kennedy cuts inside to Ramadani, to, oh they just deflected away from Miofsky and Duke, but we've started this game very strong on the front foot the whole game, uh, okay right, Richardson's passed the scales but Samuels got in front of him, but Anthony Stewart, fantastic from the captain, Hayden Coulson, now on that left hand side, driving in, Kennedy into Miofsky. Miofsky's in here, but defending again from uh, what's the name? Ross County. Ross County have defended fantastically in this game. Cannot fault the defensive performance. But now Ross County have an opportunity themselves to score. But Richardson does do very well. Okay, that's a that's so poor. I don't I don't know how that can be a foul. I'm probably missing something here, but I really don't know how that's a foul. I thought the ball was won there, but obviously the referee did not think that. And Richardson down the right, into Basarin. Sounds got some space to run into. Dukes to his right, but once again, brilliant defending from Moss County. Oh, it's been very hard 
to get the ball past this Ross County defence. Obviously our defence has been very good as well, but I'd say Ross County probably have been, had, had the better defensive performance so far in this game. And Scales does win the ball and maybe we can finally put the ball into the back of the net. net. Nope. Miofsky a bit too slow to get the ball away. Calvin into Sims. This could be a, oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Keller Roos. That was absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible from Keller Roos. He, oh, he should be saving that. Oh, my hair's a mess. He should be saving that. That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. So now we've got to try and win this game in the second half. We're one nil down, and we could easily lose our first game of the season, which obviously we do not want to do. So hopefully in the second half we can come back and win it. I really hope we can, because if we can't win this game in the second half, then that will not be good. But Kennedy plays it into Miofsky, but Miofsky just—he's not been very good in this game. Duke, I'd say Duke's probably been the better player. Out of the two strikers. That's what's happening in real life, you know. We're playing two up front and miofsky has been poor and Duke's been the far better one. Out of the two strikers that are getting played. I've got Anthony Shirt can intercept. And now Bersarin. Into Duke. And no, that's just a, that's another heavy touch. We can take very heavy touches, Miofsky and Duke. And Duke's just took another heavy touch. And that's a poor pass from Liam Scales. But they all okay, came right there. They're going to make it two here. They're going to make it two. Good save from Keller Roos. But Ross County have started the second half, the better team. And he, honestly, I can't, I can't, you don't want to lose the first game of the season. Obviously, I already lost the first game of the season in real life. But that was against Celtic. We're playing against Ross County. We should be beating them. But that's Coulson making the interception. But it's just, oh no. He's got a power shot. Roos comes out and collects it. Really, from Keller Roos, not collects it. He comes out to get a 1v1 save and now Miofsky playing it out on that right hand side to Basarin into Duke Duke's in here it's Duke Duke shoots and Duke scores Duke has equalised he has scored the first goal of the oh I've skipped the celebration there probably shouldn't have done that but Duke scores the first goal of this Aberdeen career mode has a lovely finish, ran through the whole, t ran through the defence, got a lovely ball play into him, we ran through, and there was no doubt he was putting it in the back of the net, the position he was in. And we are now on the front, we are now back, I was about to say on the front, but we, I would say we kind of are. We're back in this game now, and Duke, brilliant, brilliant football, Miofsky, gonna hit one here. I've, but why did he hit the shot so gently? I've pressed B quite hard, and Miofsky's pretty much tapped the shot into the, oh that's probably should have gone for a power shot there, could have gone for it but I've not, Miofsky into Duke, the goal scorer, Bersarin makes a little run but Baldwin can win it, can does intercept through a ball, let's see what's going to happen here and Purrington does run it out of play so we'll make some subs after the next attack, let's see what Richardson can do, uh, Bersarin sorry, now into Bersarin Crowley, it's Miofsky, oh no I didn't, I, I was throwing for the power shot but I didn't press, oh it's a penalty, I was going for the power shot but didn't press RB, uh, but it has come off the hand of uh, one of the Ross County players, and now Miofsky is going to shoot, but it's been saved, the penalty has been saved, and now that's absolutely, that's a good call to make our subs, we're going to bring on Ramirez for, actually I'm not going to bring on Ramirez, uh, we'll bring on Hayes for Kennedy, Clarkson for Ramadani, and I guess we'll give Callum Roberts a go at, I guess, me, I don't know, we'll not bring on Callum Roberts. We can make five subs now, which is, pardon me, quite good. And obviously, realistic, the subs have been made. Let's just chip it in to the, into the danger zone. That's a good ball into the box from Mielski, and he heads it in. Bojan Miofsky makes it 2-0. Both the strikers in this game have scored. And it's Bojan Miofsky who gets the second. We are in the lead. It was a beautiful ball into the box from Basarin. And Miofsky was there to slot the header in. There was a player at the front post as well. And he's ducked his head and the ball's gone in. 
Aber it's Aber it's Ross County one, Aberdeen two, and I mean uh, it's really poor goal, really poor def re poor, really poor defending, but a fantastic finish. And we are now two. We are now in the lead for the first time this in the ga in this game. Let's see if we can hold on and potentially get a third goal to kill off the game. And now Basarin could potentially start the attack, but unfortunately Callaghan does put it out. Okay, I'm going to have to change the Leighton Clarkson's uh, kit number because it says he's number 29, but he is number 20, I believe. So we're going to have to change that. Basarin, ah, uh, Duke's offside there. But honestly, I can definitely say that FIFA 23 is impressing me so much. It's far better than FIFA 23 and I was expecting that anyway. But because obviously I was gonna play the trial, I was could have could have played the trial, but okay that's poor. But obviously there was an issue on Xbox with the EA Play trial. Okay, right. Gee, that we went, that was close. But thankfully nothing came of it. And now Clarkson play it into Duke, but that's another poor touch. Duke and Miyowski have been taking really poor touches when I'm trying to uh, take take on a defender, just take a touch past them and just run. But it's not been working. But Ruse can come out and collect that. Honestly, they should be putting like the way goalie kits on because like we've only got the black, they've only got the black goalie kit. But here's Leighton Clarkson. Leighton Clarkson hit a power shot, but see the time it takes. Baldwin had enough time to get in there and block the shot, but now a chip, and a chip it into the box, try and get third. McCrory's there, but it's headed away. But Duke can get it back to Hayes, into Clarkson. Clarkson hits one. But it's over the bar. Obviously, he have scored two fantastic goals. So already for Aberdeen, maybe tomorrow for the Aberdeen Kilmarnock game, he could get another fantastic goal. But that would be very good. Bye. It might happen, but I don't think it will. But Duke is running through here. Duke's in on goal. Duke is in. Duke is in. Duke shoots. Saves. Hit the ball. Hit the ball straight eastward. And unfortunately, the ball is not in the back of the net. It's going to go for another one of those chip crosses. Duke's there. Duke heads it. It's come off the bar. That's honestly these corners are really, really good. That's another, oh, another goal. And that's another opportunity that I've could have scored. And it's obviously not really been wasted, but we've hit the woodwork. And unfortunately, that ball's going to go out. But honestly, we've played really well in this game. Um, we're probably going to end up coming out of this with three points, unless Ross County can put some last minute magic, pull some last minute magic out of the books, but now Miofsky has an opportunity, no, that, that's another bad touch, see I'm just trying to take a touch round, but because the touch is that poor, it goes straight, like the Ross County player can intercept the easel, it can tackle um, Miofsky easily, it's a, it's a good ball to Duke, but fortunately Ross County players won it, and Stuart couldn't get it away far enough, come off the box in hand, but Richardson does clear it, but Danger's not away yet, but I think it's away now as Ruse can collect the ball, rolls it out to Coulson, get one more opportunity to get a third, and Miofsky is in here, this could be the third goal, Miofsky's in, going to shoot, been really greedy, it's come off the bar, the siren though does get the rebound, and I don't, we don't need massive celebrations when it's 3-1. And there we go, full time for the first game of the season. And it is a 3-1 win against Ross County. Booze from the Ross County fans, but delight from the Aberdeen. That is the perfect way to begin the season. Um, Danny Aid getting a 2-1 win against Mullowell. Rangers drawing 1-1 one -one with St Mirren. And Celtic winning 2-0 against Hearts. But that is... As I said, the perfect way to get out to get your first win uh, was it? Well, uh, Basarin, Duke, and Miofsky all scoring, and Duke nearly scored a sec, nearly scored two, but he only scored one. So that will be it for the first episode of the career mode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I certainly did, and it's definitely. And don't worry, I may not be able to get daily uploads out. But I'll be able to upload as much as I can. So I hope you guys do enjoy this career mode. 
Um, it was a very good first episode, getting a 3-1 win and getting to know the squad. And in the second episode, we're going to be taking on Rangers at Ibrox, the toughest game of the season. Well, t second toughest game of the season because Celtic is probably going to be a tougher game. And without further ado, I will... S um, no, sorry, I said that wrong. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I've, I honestly, I'm really getting confused on how to do intros because I keep on repeating myself. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy the first episode of the Aberdeen FIFA 23 career mode. I certainly did. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another video on my channel. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't